So what we have here is actually a carbon nanotube forest. So at a nanoscale, they're very tiny, but when we grow enough of them together, we get a very high density of these carbon nanotubes. So it looks like a sort of a fuzzy black mat. Uh, when we actually uh, pull on the tip of one of these carbon nanotube bundles, we can pull out a web, and it almost looks like a spider web. And as we twist that web, we can spin it, much like as you'd spin yarn or something. Um, it's just a, an example of carbon nanotubes. We, although they are nanoscale, we can, uh, we're trying to develop ways to make them useful at the large scale. And this is one of the ways to sort of make a cable or rope of a really strong material that was, that's what we'd like. So today, my colleagues, uh, Teddy Baker and Dr. Okada, will be showing us how we spin carbon nanotubes in the lab. Teddy's actually attaching a web of carbon nanotubes that he's pulling off this carbon nanotube forest. And he's attaching it to a spinner using double-sided tape. You can see just how sticky carbon nanotubes can be and why they're really difficult to work with if we're talking about large-scale applications. So as he twists the device and pulls away, the web actually spins together. And what we get is a carbon nanotube yarn. And as the carbon nanotubes pull off the forest, they come off almost like a sweater unraveling, pulling off the next carbon nanotube. So even though they're nanoscale, we can actually get a macroscale yarn out of these materials. And what we'd like to do is make an ultra strong, say stronger than steel cable out of this material, which is you know, as light as spider webs. So this block of carbon nanotube forest can be spun into about 50 meters worth of uh, carbon nanotube fiber. So right now, although we have a carbon nanotube thread, if we then spun these carbon nanotube threads together, sort of twisting them, we could get a, a larger and larger fiber. He's, right now, to sort of make it a little bit more stable, he has to just keep winding it up even tighter. So now he's actually broken the connection from the forest of carbon nanotubes. We're not spinning any new carbon nanotubes, but we're making the, the, the thread or the, the fiber even tighter. And then you can see it's a little bit easier to work with with more tension. We're going from carbon nanotubes, which are maybe tens of nanometers in diameter, to a fiber that is 20 micrometers in diameter. So we can keep increasing the size by the spinning process and making useful fibers out of carbon nanotubes.